Namaste or assalamu alaikum dosto. Right now, I'm going to take you to a smuggler's bazaar here in Peshawar in Pakistan. It's right on the Afghan border. It's called Karkhano Market and it's famous for smuggled goods from Afghanistan. So NATO goods, US Army goods, firearms and drugs. But apparently the government has really cleaned this market up. So the worst stuff is apparently gone. But we're still gonna go and have a look and see what's going on there, what's available, because this is one huge, incredible market here in Pakistan. Now, the first thing I can tell you is <laughs> this is not the safest place. On the way here, I just saw a number of drug addicts, which I haven't seen much of in Pakistan. I have seen them here. And so, this is. I just ran over my foot on a motorbike. So this is the Grand Trunk Road. We've got Afghanistan this way. And if you keep going all this way, you will eventually reach to India. And this market is just ginormous. Like it starts here and it goes about one or 200 meters this way. I couldn't believe the size when I drove past it. And there's about 4,500 shops here and around 30 different markets all connected into one one mega market it's just an epic epic place so take a look around and hopefully drink some tea as well so this is the makeup market the perfume market the toy market the school books market and this is the very first market here This is, this is my kind of market. This is um, the fireworks market. They banned fireworks in my country a long time ago when I was a kid, so we only get certain fireworks throughout the year, but here, everything's available, skyrockets and all. This is the fireworks store. Assalamu alaikum ji. A fireworks page there. Huh? Fireworks here. Where are you? New Zealand. New Zealand, sir. Ah, I'm here market. I'm here. You can get all kinds of fireworks at this store and um, the, the caps for the cap guns. We used to play uh, with these as kids. Skyrockets. Yeah, very nice store. Uh, uh, and this, these are big, man. Wow, some big fireworks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Sorry, see, because... All right, so this is the first kava session that I'm having. Guys invited me into a store to sit down and uh, we're going to drink some kava together. He said, I, I can't leave until I drink tea with him. Assalamu alaikum ji. Ki hale? Sab tege? Shukar, shukar, shukar. Alhamdulillah. So we're just going to sit here and I'm going to drink some tea and then we'll keep exploring. Mera desh, mera mulk mein hamare paas fireworks nahi hai. Nahi hai? Nahi. We only have little ones, small fireworks. Your kids love it here, look at these kids. Idhar jo log hai, wo England bhoot pasand karta hai. England bhoot pasand hai. Anji. Acha. I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand? Yes. New Zealand is also better. That's right. Two times better. Yes. 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 Chai is coming. Yes. Yes. So this is... Peshawari Kava. And it's basically a special green tea from this area. And I have to buy some of this today as well. Let me show you. It's simply just green, green tea. And it's got a really unique taste. I can't explain 
how different the green tea is here. It's just refreshing. <laughs> Missile. Oh, uh -huh. Missile. Missile battery, so this is gonna shoot missiles into the sky. Acha. Take it. Twenty-five shots. Anji. Take it. Anji. Shukriya ji, shukriya. Ye gift. Shukriya. Ah. Shukriya. Shukriya. Okay. Anji. Chalo, okay. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. So that's how people are here. Very, very kind people, very nice people. Bye. So let's keep going, let's keep exploring the market. I've got fireworks already. I'm gonna have to give it to some kid because no way I'm gonna set off fireworks here in Pakistan. All right, got rid of the fireworks. There's no way I'm gonna walk around in this market with explosives as a foreigner. You know what I mean? Even though I know it's just the, it's just the kid's firework. Yeah. You see, the fake news media in Pakistan and in India is so strong that if anything was to happen to me that day, I can just imagine what the headlines would be. Foreign YouTuber found with explosive missile battery in Peshawar. Such is life in this part of the world, unfortunately. So this is the phone market, and you can get your phones repaired here as well. You can get like all sorts of kind of old and second, second hand phones here. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum ji. He's busy replacing parts on a old, I think it's a Nokia phone. So these stores sell second-hand phones and new phones as well, and they've always got a guy like um, repairing them. Assalamu alaikum ji. Phone cases, phone accessories, just everything, and there must be at least a couple of hundred phone stores here because you've got the bottom ground level then you've got the top level as well as you can see have a look at what this guy's selling this guy's selling um kino neye it's ka naam kya hai ji kino kino neye na malta acha it's called something like malta and um can i just have a look in here this is you see it's kind of red it's red inside and um, these are these are really tasty and really popular here on the streets here in Peshawar. This is like a solar panel market where you can buy all types of solar panels for you know electricity. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. This guy's selling all sorts of um, used power tools, locks, screwdrivers, yeah, a lot of stuff. Keep moving. Now in this market we have all sorts of homeware like irons, like juice makers, kettles, anything you could want for your home. Toasted sandwich maker. I'm hoping we'll find like a video games market. Let's keep going. Every market has kind of something different in it and it's just a huge long line of shops like this bottom and top floor. So I found a video game store. This is Imranka Games store. And you can see let's get past PS5 here. Xbox Series S and he's got Series X as well and I'm looking for a game actually but he's just seeing if he can find it I'm getting The Witcher 3 because I haven't played it yet and my brother keeps telling me you've got to play it so yeah this is like a, just basically a game store people here aren't crazy about consoles people here are part of the PC master race so consoles aren't a big thing here. Gaming PCs are because everyone can pirate the games for free, basically. And I've made two other vlogs, one in Delhi, one in Lahore, at actual video game markets, where they have just tons of stores. And you'll see down here, he's got all the Series S. These have all been modified to play the copy games, basically. 
and then headsets. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can't. Xbox One? Oh, one F. Yeah, yeah. So big Xbox One. So big. Ah, this is Xbox One. I forgot. I forgot how big Xbox One is. These are ginormous. But yeah, Xbox is my favorite. Is the gaming still here? Did not. Too many game stores, actually. I, I expected a lot more. It's more kind of just general goods. Assalamu alaikum. Friendly people, we're everywhere. Sewing machines, my mother in law would love these. All sorts of phone chargers you can get. Assalamu alaikum ji. Ye kya hai? Diamond wala. Acha. Like Viagra, na? Huh? Like Viagra. Viagra. Is that guy selling like herbal supplements for men's performance? And just again, more more shops selling home appliances down that market. So we'll keep going. And so nothing down here that just leads to a kind of a river or sewer. And I, I just seen this guy here. He's um, making. Oh, there's restaurants here as well. Wow, this restaurant's busy inside. Assalamu alaikum ji. Kya bana rahe hai? Sir bana rahe hai. Sik tikka. Oh, sik tikka. Fish. Much li hai? Much li hai mara pas. Kabuli pada hai. Sik tikka. Oh, sik tikka. Aaj shaam. 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 All different types of kebabs, like um, probably a lot of mutton gets eaten here. Mutton's really, really popular here, like sheep meat, basically. Assalamu alaikum ji. And ye chai ki dukan hai. And wo kava banare hai. He's making kava green tea. And these little things, and ye kehte hai chai nut. These little pots are called chainak, and I'm just speaking in um, a bit of Urdu so they know what I'm saying about them. And so the milk is here, they do make black tea as well. And yeah, and then they'll just be served to all the, all the people in there. Good prayer, Ji. Allah Hafiz. No, I'm not. 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 Actually, ha ha. May may do well each other younger. Shukriya. They just told me to sit down and, and drink some tea. I did take kava, but I'll have some um, have a tea as well. And you gotta take your shoes off here, okay? We're all gonna sit like Arabi style, like Arab Arab style. And so you just sit like this, and everybody's around, and yeah, you drink tea. Hopefully, you have a friend here that you can sit and and chill with and drink tea with. And up on the wall is obviously um, Makkah or Mecca. And these old teapots that you can see here, these are like Arabic style. And I just wish we had these kind of chai wallace stores here or in, in New Zealand and in India. And so in this little china, we have black tea. I'm gonna be so high by the end of this. Too much tea, but I just love it. So I held the camera down just so you can see that it's real. They won't take from foreigners here. It's very difficult to pay for, you know, small things like that. I think these people should take money because, you know, he's selling tea. He should take the money. There's no reason not to take money for me. I spend so much time here in Pakistan. Anyway, nothing I can do about it. This is culture here. Oh, this is your store, bro. 
Acha, he's selling rings. What channel is that? Acha, hello, bro. Okay, okay. He wants me to write down my channel name. I write that down for him. And so, you do find a lot of child labor here in Pakistan. Kids running stalls and cleaning. Carol Rock. Okay? Yes. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say K A R L R O C K. Carol Rock. Yes. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Bye, guys. And so, this is the rug market. They sell us a lot of rugs here. Let's keep going. And you might think like rugs, but I don't know, they play quite an important role in India and Pakistan. A lot of people gift it, like during weddings and. Yeah, rugs and blankets. I'll just show you what's on the other side of the Grand Trunk Road. There's basically more markets. But this market across here is quite interesting. Here, these guys are shepherds. And they're selling livestock you can come here and buy goats sheep like mutton they're drinking kava assalamu alaikum and it's kind of like a mini village just across from the main market and these are these dudes are just shepherds and they're just sitting around and drinking drinking kava and these guys are praying I think it's cow. Yeah, there's cows over there. And this is the mutton that we just ate. <laughs> and yeah, they're on the railway tracks here. these three guys sitting here it's pretty grim they are addicts and in Pakistan they generally cover themselves with a sheet so you can't see what they're up to and where the train tracks are it's also where oh these guys are just heck I've been not sure of that they were just butchering an animal but you know YouTube community guidelines if you're a foreigner and you're coming here I would say do not cross the road to where the train tracks are that's what you're gonna see a lot of Unfortunate stuff happening actually. Yeah. It's really sad. Right, I'm gonna cross back over. Now this looks like the electrical market. I mean this guy's selling door locks. This guy's selling electrical goods. Power. Generators. And now we get to the LED light section. And I just can't stress how, how huge it is. This is a mega, mega market. And so one nice thing here, and in India as well, same thing. People get things fixed. There's so many repairmen here. You can get anything fixed. They don't, you don't just throw things out. Everything gets recycled and reused or resold. It's a really nice thing that we've kind of lost in, in New Zealand, in the West. Assalamu alaikum ji. This guy is making, um, this is like a fruit juice store. And look at this guy, he's got these old Panasonic cameras. Assalamu alaikum. A lot of stores here selling these male um, supplements. And obviously you'll find everything counterfeit here, like a Hermes bag, uh, fake Nike. The Apple's making bags now. So this is, it's all along the road here. 
And we're getting to a more kind of open part of the market now. Now we're seeing like more fashion stuff. Oh, people are carrying around TVs. Ah, so this is electronics. TV market, dried fruits, toys. This guy's selling food. This side of the market, this is for crockery home goods, so it's mostly women in this market. And there's just so many little alleyways along here as well. If you see me dipping the camera like this in my videos, it's usually because I'm trying not to capture a woman's face. Islamic countries are very sensitive about this. See, here's just another long, massive row of shops here. Guys selling telephones. Like, like every single box in there is just a different type of telephone. Assalamu alaikum, Ji. Kaise? You have so many telephones. Oh my gosh. Such a collection. Amazing. Bye. Anna? So you can find a lot of, um, a lot of stuff like that. Thank you, Ji. They're selling clocks. You can find a lot of kind of rare and old stuff. Stuff which is long out of production. For example, that guy's been collecting for how many years the store has been there. It just hasn't thrown anything away. It's just kept it all. And for good reason. One thing you might notice while you're walking around is people smoking ganja. There's a lot of that in the air here. Uh, you might see women sitting on the street like she is in full burqa. There, there's a lot of them and they're, they're begging basically, going around to the stores asking for money. And along here, so there's the bed sheets. And then also women's clothing you can buy here. And these guys are selling fabric. Walaikum as How are you? Very good. Hey, Angrezi Bolte up. Yes. Acha, you sell fabrics. Uh, we have all, all, all type of fabric uh, variety. Acha. Yes. Achha. So you can make these into a salvar kameez for a man or you can make it into something for a woman as well. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. And then a lot of shopping for women now entering into the clothing section of the market and this part will be huge. Fashion is a big, big thing here in Pakistan. I was gonna get my wife something from here, but the fashion is kind of, it's really cheap stuff basically. It's the very, very cheap side of fashion. So I won't grab her anything here. And shoes and children's clothing now and all sorts of things for babies. This market just never ends, honestly. It just never, ever ends. The clothing bazaar is like, it's like a maze here, basically. There's just so much clothes and it just keeps going and going. It suddenly got very quiet. It suddenly got very, very quiet here. And so here we have like fake plants. Really nice part of the market, right? Even though they're fake, but it just looks nice. Assalamu alaikum ji. Ye bahut sundar jagah hai. Bahut shanti hai na. Waha bahut vyas hai. Assalamu alaikum. And so this is where people have lunch here and you sit on these seats like this young man is doing and he's eating rajma and naan. Assalamu alaikum ji. Ye rajma hai? Ye kaleji? And then this is tomata and he's gonna mix. He's gonna fry the kaleji with the tomata and plate it up for someone to eat. And this guy I think he will be selling 
आप क्या बेचते हैं जी नमकीन गोश्त है काबुली पलाव है दाल मास्ट है ओ वाह नमकीन गोश्त है नमकीन गोश्त दिस इज जस्ट साउथ विद मटन अच्छा मोस्ट दाल ओ some kind of dal different dal man they use the spices here much the spices here what is kima ah this is ye meri man pasand hai this yeah. is um kima and your pasand hai yeah yeah this is uh kima matar kima yes mince and potato yeah potato shukriya ji allah hafiz and this, this little man is busy eating han ji shukriya allah hafiz and just more crockery i've not seen so much crockery and so many kind of kitchen utensils in my life and if we just walk up here see you can see across this is just like this is just one of the markets right and there's like i don't know 10 to 15 lanes like this just of shops i think in the middle of the road there that is their bus metro it's just a A, a lane for or two lanes for buses to take. Here we have various types of birds. People in Pakistan love to keep birds. And I just met a subscriber, bro. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Dr. Usama. I am uh, basically a big, big fan, and. Sir is the reason that he cured my depression oh, basically. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> During my exams basically. I'm happy you're feeling good though. I'm so happy. Chalo, let's take a photo. Come, bro. Another food street here. And this is actually about as far as I'm allowed to go as a foreigner. Foreigners aren't allowed up the Grand Trunk Road to the Khyber Pass. Don't know why exactly, but Yeah, we're not allowed. They say it's too dangerous. I'm guessing they're doing some kind of operations there against whoever's there. But yeah, used to be able to go, but at the moment definitely can't go. So yeah, gonna turn around here and go back the other way. So times have definitely changed here at Karkhano Market. Definitely, there's nothing. You know, there's no smuggled goods here. There's no guns. There's no. ammunition drugs nothing like that out in the open like they used to be but everything is here everything else is here you'll find absolutely everything you want here at this market i think a lot of the smuggling and stuff has moved down to baluchistan now because there is a border fence now in this side and because you know the government and the army have taken a strong interest in getting rid of all the stuff from the streets and the markets here in Peshawar but there's another reason too so the combat boots the flak jackets the AKs the night vision goggles and all that US gear has disappeared because the Americans have left neighboring Afghanistan so those deliveries have dried up and these shopkeepers need to reinvent themselves so yeah that's the reality here it is no longer a smugglers market like the lonely planet guide still says and there's so much wrong with those outdated lonely planet guides you know that's what I read about it I'm like okay let's go see but yeah not much going on here but do come here for shopping and I was just chatting with the driver and um he was pointing out the heroin use across the road and yeah he says you don't get you don't get anything at that bazaar anymore It's all further up towards Afghanistan now, so they go there to get drugs and that type of stuff. 